What is up, guys? Catter PDCG here today with another deck profile of Swampert for World Format. This is not very good, in my opinion, um, but it's pretty cool. I like the concept. Um, this is more made to be consistent and less techy. Um, I don't think there's any techs in this deck right now. Um, the idea is cool. The What we have right now to make it work is not... Um, this kind of just reminds me of Empo the old Empoleon, um, well, actually both. The new old Empoleon from Ultra Prism and the old Empoleon, um, in different ways. Um, mostly a stage one water deck, stage two water deck, um, but other things, which I'll discuss later. Um, for Mudkip, which I don't know which Mudkip is better, because normally I like the HP, but the other one, I do not entirely remember what it does. I know it has, it might have 50 HP, I think it has 60. But the attack is actually really good. Um, so you could do the other one. I honestly think the 70 HP one is better. Um, but I'm torn, and usually I'm like, the high HP is definitely better. This time, I'm more in the middle. Um, to Marsh Dump which I don't know what this does. I think this is the only one in the set, and it's not going to be relevant half the time. For Swampert, which I definitely know what this does. Um, so its ability is awesome. It's probably the best ability I've seen in the game. Um, if you thought Trade was amazing, this is so much better. Well, not so much better. One card better. You discard a card from your hand and draw three. If this was on a stage one, it would probably be banned. So, I mean, people are already suggesting Zorart get banned. I don't think it's valid, but... So imagine if this was on a stage 1. Um, anyway, the attack is also pretty nice. It does 80 and then 20 more for each water energy attached to it. So it's doing 140? Yeah, 140 already. So it can one-shot a Lele with a choice band um, very easily. And it's a one prizer that has 160 HP, so it's pretty bulky. Um... Two Olum Vulpix, um, because you want to start with this, but you don't want to have so many that it's a nuisance. But Beacon is actually pretty awesome. You can get out your um, Pokemon a lot faster and set them up more. Um, this is one more reason why I think that the 70 HP one is a little bit better. If you're not including the Olum Vulpix in your deck, maybe you're opting for like a 1-1 Mad Cogger line or something then I would say probably, as I'm thinking about it, probably play the other Mudkip. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. But, for now, I'm going to say that. Uh, to Lele, you don't, like, always need to get Bridget out, but you want to as much as possible, which is why we have Lele and Bridget in this deck. Um, not in a 3-3 line, um, but a 2-2 line, which is pretty fine. 3-N, um, 3-Cynthia, three 3-Guzma, three three Guzma. Two Sycamore and two Bridget. Um, I don't think I really need to explain any of these. This is a pretty normal count. Um, except for maybe the Sycamore. The Sycamore may be a little weird, but it's not quite. It's sort of like a Zorark deck and a Stage 2 deck. Like, it's kind of weird. So I feel like the two Sycamore is good. Um, you could opt to play a third Lele or a third Bridget instead of the Sycamore, um, which I think is perfectly fine and understandable. Uh, four Ultra Ball just to get your Pokemon a bit faster. Um, for Rare Candy to evolve it immediately, um, Rare Candy is so good in this deck because you can evolve your Swampers a turn sooner and get them powered up quicker. Um, oh, one thing that I'm debating on, and you could take out, like, a Sycamore for as well, is, um, Mask Royale. Basically, you can accelerate one energy from your hand to, uh, a starter type. I'm still, like, very iffy about it. It seems cool, but it just seems gimmicky, which is why it's not in this list. Um, but for Puzzle, um, because it's sort of like a Zorark deck, you're still using essentially Trade, so it's still the same concept. Um, also it allows you to streamline Aqua Patch, which I love. Um, for, for Puzzle 4, Aqua Patch was my shit in Alola Ninetales. Um, I loved that, um, uh, post-rotation, and I feel like it can apply to this too, to some degree. Um, Aqua Patch, um... Once you have energies in the discard pile, usually from power draw, 
you can start accelerating them to your bench Swamperts, um, which is very lovely. Um, two choice band. Choice band is really useful for doing more damage. Um, you're not really one shotting that much with this deck, um, but two shotting with a high HP um, non EXGX Pokemon is still really good, and it has the ability like trade. And I know that this seems like a god deck, but because it's a stage two, it's really not. Um, and I know you're thinking, but power draw, yeah, but you have to. Whoa, Jesus Christ! Um, but you have to use power draw. Um, ignore the message that said my computer needs to update because it is updating currently. Well, downloading the update. It's very fucking slow. Anyway, two field blower to counter Garbodor because Garbodor sucks. Um, well, when you're the one playing it, it doesn't, but against this deck it does. One rescue stretcher, um, you just need to get out your Pokemon, and sometimes you trade them away, or sometimes you stick them with them or whatever, so rescue stretcher is there for you. And then, for, for, not four, eight. Eight water energies and two counter energies. When you're behind on prizes, counter energy is amazing. When it's not, it's not. So, um, that's why there's only two copies. Um, but yeah, this is Swamper. It sounds like a god deck, I know. But being a stage two, um, it's not that great. Um, I would say it has potential. Post-rotation, I think it could be, um, very good. Um, if you look at the deck, there's not much that it loses. Like, it loses draw support, and it loses puzzle. And, I mean, like, flowstone, but that doesn't matter. Um, you can play something else instead of flowstone. Basically, only puzzle and draw support is being lost, which you can replace draw support and play a higher counts of needed cards. Um, and this deck seems like it could be pretty good post-rotation, um, when there's a slower format. Um. If it's a quicker format than we expected, I don't think this can stand a chance. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really good deck. Um, and pretty consistent for a stage 2 deck. Um, yeah. Anyway, leave a like and subscribe to Caterpie TCG for more deck profiles and competitive content.